Hello and welcome to our lesson on drawing angles. We're going to draw a 40 degree angle using a ruler and a protractor. I use the ruler to draw a horizontal baseline. And from this point, I'm going to measure a 40 degree angle in a clockwise direction on the protractor. I need to line up the crosshairs with the end of a point. And because I'm going in a clockwise direction, I'm going to use the top scale. I put a mark at 40 degrees. And now I'm going to draw a line that crosses through the two points. So now you can see a 40 degree angle. Okay, let's try question B. So I draw my baseline. At this point, I'm going to draw an obtuse angle of 120 degrees in a clockwise direction. On the top scale, I go across past 90 degrees to 120 degrees. I place a point at the 120 degrees, and now I'm going to draw a line through the two points using my ruler. So and this is my 120 degree angle. Okay, let's try question C. Again, I draw a horizontal baseline. At the other end of a line, I'm going to go in an anticlockwise direction, 160 degrees. This time, because I'm going in an anticlockwise direction, I'm going to use the bottom scale. I go past 90, stop at 160, and I mark off that point. And now I'm going to draw a line through the two points using the ruler. So here we have the 160 degree angle. For question D, I'm going to draw a 200 degree angle. I will start by drawing the baseline, and then I'm going to extend the line. I'll mark off a point at the end of the line, and this is 180 degrees. So now I need to draw another 20 degrees from the extended line, because 180 plus the 20 will make the 200 degree reflex angle. So again, I draw a baseline. I'm going to extend the line. And now I need to draw a 20 degree angle in a clockwise direction. And because I'm going clockwise, I use the top scale. I put a mark at 20 degrees. And now I'm going to use a ruler to draw a line through two points. So here we have our 200 degree angle. And finally, for question E, we have a 320 degree angle. I'll start by drawing a baseline. And this time I'm going to work out the difference between the full circle, which is 360, minus the 320. So I need to draw a 40 degree angle in this direction. And this will be my 320 degree reflex angle. So here's my baseline. Now I need to draw a 40 degree angle in this direction from the end of a line here. And because I'm going in an anticlockwise direction, I use the bottom scale. I put a mark at 40 degrees. And I draw a line between the two points using a ruler. So here we have our 320 degree angle. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.